Hello everybody and welcome again. My name is Rick Utzer and I'm here today for Ergon Pro Shop and I want to talk to you about a couple cool products. First thing we want to start with is going to be the Ninja Easy Flow Valve. Now this guy's, we've already talked a little bit about it. This thing is very cool. It had this little thing, came. that's how it shipped. Anyway, this little guy will go on to any of these 90 cubic inch bottles. So if you have a Ninja bottle, maybe an old regged bottle, and you want to convert it to be more flexible for different air guns out there. So, um, you know, when we started this, 3,000 PSI was like it. Maybe the Discovery was 2,000 PSI. So really, if you had something that did up to 2,900, was regulated, it was safer, et cetera, et cetera, that's not a bad deal, and that's where we started. But now so many air guns are wanting more air. They want more than 3,000. So if you've got one of these bottles that's regulated to the 200 bar at 2,900 PSI, you're not gonna be able to get all the shots. Good example is the Gamo Coyotes, uh, the new Winchester Big Boars, the Gamo TC45. All of those want more than 200 bar. So this guy, as practical and as easy it is to throw in a backpack and take with you in the field, it doesn't get up to the pressure you need. So what do you do? Well, you can get a different regulator, but then you're still fixed to a particular output or you can go with their new easy flow valve. Now we have these available at ergonproshop.com and it's as easy to install as this. Once you've removed the old reg from the bottle, let me get the thread started. Uh, and once you've removed the old one, you just screw on the new one. That's it. Now we have an empty bottle here which brings me to the second part of this video. And what I'm going to do now is fill this. And while that's filling, I'm gonna put a picture down here in the corner. While that is filling, we're gonna to talk to you about this compressor and we're gonna see which one finished first, filling this bottle or talking about this compressor. We'll be right back. All right, so this is the KT70. I think this is the KT70 SE. Forgive me if I've got the numbers, or excuse me, the letters at the end slightly off. But I believe this is the KT70 SE. This compressor is for the prosumer, the really serious air gunner. If you're an air gunner and you just bought your first PCP and it was a struggle for you to kind of come to grips with spending the $500 on that crawl or that marauder or that, this is probably not going to be your compressor. It's just not going to be the one you're going to gravitate to. Now, if you're like me and you've got six, eight, $10,000 worth of air guns because you're addicted to the doggone sport and you just gotta have the newest and greatest thing, this may be exactly what you're looking for. Now let me tell you why this has some advantages and some features that may interest you. First things first, there are a lot of compressors on the market today and we've got more coming out. Inventory's got the new uh, Nomad, that's gonna be a $500 price point, AC or 12 volt, gun filling uh, little apparatus, that has me super excited, man. That is a great option if you've got one gun and you're filling just that gun and you're out in the field. I, I can't wait to get my hands on something like that. I have the Air Venturi compressor, that's about a $1,300 option, and that basically goes with me everywhere. When I go on a shoot or I'm gonna go out to an event, that goes in the truck or that goes in the trunk because it's just so doggone versatile I can plug it into any wall outlet that's 20 amp or so, and I can fill my bottles, I can fill my guns. It's, it is just really, really effective. It is a little bit slower, however. The Nomad's gonna be very slow. The Air Venturi compressor is about one cubic foot per minute, which means the big bottles, the 98 cubic foot bottles, those guys, well, they're gonna take some time, guys. They're gonna take a good bit of time to fill up. So it's not an instantaneous fill. Nothing's instantaneous, you'll get understand what I'm talking about here in a minute. The other thing you gotta be concerned about, or at least I am, when I've got so much invested in really nice air guns, is what kind of air am I putting in those air guns? How clean is it and how dry is it? This produces breathing quality scuba rated air certified. So when you have the air, the breathing air filter in this, it's gonna be dry enough and clean enough for you to put in a scuba tank and take that out diving. That's the kind of air this produces. That's very dry and that's very clean. When you're putting air into your gun, if it's got moisture in it, if it has particulates in it, you're just setting yourself up for something to be a problem down the road. This helps eliminate some of that. Now, there's some other very cool features we're gonna to get to. 
let's talk a little bit about just how this system is built and where it comes from. This is built in Germany. It's not built in other parts of the world. This is built and comes right out of Germany and it's serviced here locally, it's serviced domestically. This is actually very, very easy to work on. It's a few screws, the cowling comes off and you have this beautiful uh, three-stage head sitting under here. It's splash lubricate, lubricated. There's oil here. This is your condescent drain. It's very, very simple to work on, which is very cool. It's air-cooled, which is really, really, I think is an important feature because you're not dealing with that additional uh, potential failure. It has a large coil up front here off, coming off the third stage before it gets to the condensing tower. What's nice about that is it's actually cooling that final pass, that final stage where the air is cooling it down before it gets here. When the air comes to the output right here, it's usually only about seven to 10 degrees above ambient temperature. And that also lets your filter be that much more efficient in getting it drier and cleaner. It's very, very important. This runs off 220, so if you're looking for a 110 option, this is not gonna be your guys. This is a 220 unit. This is designed for almost that quasi-commercial application. So again, if you're the guy who just really was struggling to come to grips with spending $500, $700 on your first PCP, it's probably not gonna be the right product for you. I would look at maybe the new Nomad coming out. Crossman's gonna have a small compressor coming out. There's a bunch of them on the market. The Air Venturi compressor is probably my favorite compressor for the average air gunner, home user. That thing is awesome. You can fill little bottles, fill bigger bottles, fill your guns directly off the unit. Super convenient, plugs right in the wall. Just a great unit. But if you wanna do more and you wanna do it much faster, that's when you get into something like this. Let's talk a little bit about price point. Well, competitive products are frankly a lot more money. You're looking at a Bauer or some of these other compressors that are 3,500, 4,500, depending on what feature set you get. Now this actually has auto shut off. That's very cool because you don't have to babysit it like you would one that doesn't have auto shut off. So right now I've got this set up to go to 4,500 PSI. When I hit 4,500, this compressor will shut off automatically. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this up. We're gonna fill this bottle and then I'm gonna walk you through the process of what to do after you're done filling your bottle or your air gun. Uh, before we fill, we always wanna check our oil. This is a daily routine. So you're gonna pull this off and just check to make sure you've got oil on the stick. We do. We'll have the oil on our website. We'll have the filters on our website. We'll have rebuild kits on our website too. Everything you need to support this product, we are going to stock and make sure we have available for you. Okay, so we've got the oil checked. Uh, I've just finished uh, a test session with this, so I know we're all empty. We're at zero PSI over here. I'm going to connect our bottle up, shut the bleeder. Okay, there is a green start button on the back. Now it's gonna get a little loud, please forgive the noise, but uh, in a few minutes we'll come back and I'll show you how to disconnect everything. Let's see how we do. Okay, as you can see, when the pressure hits the set pressure, the system simply shuts off, which is very cool. Now once this is shut down, what you wanna do is bleed the line. Bleed the line and disconnect the bottle. All right, go ahead and disconnect the bottle. Set that back here. All right, now the next thing we need to do, and you wanna do this every 25 minutes, or what I do is every time I'm done filling a bottle, or every 25 minutes, whichever comes first, I stop the system and I drain the condescent. Uh, we're in Arizona, so we have, well, at least we're in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. So there's very actual little moisture. What I'm also gonna do first is I'm gonna drain this out. Drain this down to about 1,000 PSI and then drain the condescent. over here and I'll drain this 
just about done here. Okay, so we have that drain, and then this drain, and that's it. Now you're ready for your next fill-up. Remember, you check your oil every day, you drain it every 25 minutes, or after every fill just to be safe, and you're good to go. This thing is a tank. This is certainly not going to be on the budget side of compressors. But it's also not on the very expensive side of compressors either because there are some that go much more money than this. You're looking at two and a half cubic foot per minute. It'll fill one of those pony bottles in seven and a half minutes from bone dry to 4,500. So you can imagine if you're just topping it off two to three minutes, really it's very, very quick. You have bigger bottles, it's two and a half cubic foot per minute. It fills them very quickly. This is a great, great compressor if you're into that prosumer air gun enthusiast market or maybe you've got a small club and you're filling three or four bottles for five bottles a week, something like that. Something like this would be a really, really great option because it's got that durability and it's putting out the breathing quality rated air. That's super important. Guys, if you want to know more about this, visit our website, www.airgunproshop.com and send us an email, ask us your questions. We'd be happy to help you out. For now, this is Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web, Ergon Web TV, and Ergon Pro Shop. Thanks for watching.